One of the things that we identified was to be able to support our students in terms of becoming healthier to be able to be better learners. I started talking about the idea of developing a hub for the school where we could invite, invite outside service providers to come in and share with kids. And then I guess there was a third thing that happened is I talk, was talking with uh, Felicia with Parkland School Division's Wellness Initiative and shared that same wish or idea and she connected us with Dr. Doug Klein who is part of Change Health Alberta. The Change Health Clinic is part of a, a, a program of research which I, that I lead at the University of Alberta and it's called Change Alberta. It has a number of different uh, programs. We've got a randomized controlled trial that we're doing at reversing metabolic syndrome and decreasing cancer risk. Um, we've got uh, an adventure camp that we started to, to promote uh, life skills of children and families that we're working sort of in the summers as well as in some, some elementary schools to, uh, to promote uh, health as well. Four key pillars of the of this project are um, nutrition and meal preparation, physical activity, um, mental health and personal well-being, and social connection. In my office, I may be seeing someone who is suffering from depression, um, and but for that individual, it might be a mental health issue that they come in for. But what we know is what what food they eat. Um, has an impact on their on their their depression. Um, what activity they do can actually help with with their depression. Um, and how connected? How socially are they socially isolated in the community? Do they have a lot of those uh, touch points in our community that are going to actually help them help themselves? Why a high school? Um, sometimes I wonder. <laughs> um, you know, is it? High schools actually have a lot of the, the facilities that we need to promote health and healthy lifestyles. They have a fitness center, they have a, yeah, they have a gym, they have equipment, sports equipment, they have a foods lab, cooking uh, options, as well as a bunch of teaching space, which is uh, great. And then they have, like what we've got here is we've, they've actually got students, they've got um, some of the people we're trying to reach. That's all Dr. Doug, and let me tell you, I give the man an A for persistence. <laughs> you know, that Monday morning is sort of the first time that the kids are in the school after the weekend, the first time that they're connecting with their peers, and so we've had our challenges to get the kids up and moving like so, we want to, but... So it's Monday morning, so as per usual, we're doing Move Monday, right? Watch out! Just giving them the opportunity um, and gradually it will spread. So like this morning as we had a group of kids playing uh, floor hockey, we had um, some kids shooting hoops just shooting baskets, we had a little three on three game of uh, basketball that, that I was actually taking part in. Um, so really having the opportunity, some music um, and and the more kids come and have some fun, the more they're going to come back with their friends. At first it was kind of like, I don't know, it seems kind of weird. And then after seeing him and talking to him and seeing that all that he's doing here, yeah, I thought I found out like, it's actually a really great thing. I like it. Letting kids know that, they're, that there's someone out there that will like listen to them and that uh, there's, they're not like alone, that's very important. So this is, um, I think, one of the, the real first efforts where, where family medicine and education have really come together to work together. Parkland School Division, where the world opens up.